Why is... Uh, excuse me. Why... Ah, there it is. That popped up. Cool. Uh, that lag was a little unfortunate. Tried to make that a uh, seamless transition, but guess not. Anyway, welcome back to the Mass Effect 2 playthrough. We are on Ilium. Beautiful city with what seems like a really shady, seedy underground. But there's a whole lot to do here. We can meet Liara. We got two crewmates. Excuse me. We got two crewmates we can recruit. So yeah, we're gonna figure out what is what. I need minimal heat increase and speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. Certainly, sir. Safe too. I What's this dude talking about? Safety guarantee of anything going on to my suit. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. All right, let's sweet talk ourselves into a discount like every other store. Is everything here so expensive? I plan to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best and I'm willing to pay for it. As long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount. And when I get special items in, you can take a look. Ooh, special items, eh? What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs, nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. What about some advanced merchandise? Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Ooh. Very advanced design. Not Ooh. publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Novaria. And illegal Oh, there she export. is. Hello, Hermia. Arsini, you set me up. But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Okay, well, I still want that schematic. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty oh. device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Damn. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. Ah, uh, do we still get the discount? Ooh, damn, I don't know. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing Asari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. <laughs> uh, you really love doing this. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White collar crime is nice and clean. Well, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. And did I ask her about this? I don't remember. How'd you end up on Novaria anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only no, I don't think I did. Science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. Well, what are your plans for the future? What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. Tell me about this undercover work. It must be hard, going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people, and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Hmm. Seem to enjoy it though. Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. 
and they never see me coming. Well, it's good to see you. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Yeah. Her eyes looked like they rolled up in the top of her head for a second. Or in the top of her head. Do you have anything flashier? I want something that says, I own this room. I own you. If these aren't that expensive, and I feel like they will be pretty useful. Yeah, uh, this, if I'm guessing correctly, these seem like what something we could put on top of our normal armor. Now I can't afford the biotic damage. Which I want to be able to do eventually, but we'll have to do some more missions to get more money. What is over here? I'm gonna have that asshole arrested. Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. Uh, good to know. I'll be careful. Or you could kill him. You know, legally, in self-defense. I'd make a really good witness. Yeah. Failing that, I'm hooking up security cameras now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. The Eternity Bar. A quiet candlelight vigil is planned for hostages who died during the Batarian attack on Terra Nova. Reverend Michael Bowman, whose daughter Kate died in the fighting, is holding a non-denominational prayer service on the anniversary of the attack. Michael Kate Bowman. I recognize that name. Oh, Kate Bowman is yeah. That's the chick who died on the asteroid that we because we couldn't save her. Yo, what's up, Pathos? Oh, l listen to the bachelor party, eh? I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. Okay, then. <laughs> so then he says, Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural. I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date humans. So then I had to explain about cross-species fluid contact. Completely killed the mood. Not to mention that you're a quarian. How could he be so insensitive? Interesting. All right, you tell me to keep listening to the bachelor party, okay? I don't understand. Humans celebrate wedding contracts by tempting infidelity. That makes no sense. Calm down, man. Don't embarrass me in front of the stripper. What do Turians do? Do Turians do this too? I'm just here for the drinks. Gonna learn about human traditions, I see. You said that bachelor parties are for very close friends. We're just coworkers. You've been coworkers for five years, though. Aren't Solarian years like dog years? Okay, now that's offensive. Oh, damn. I appreciate the gesture, but my people don't even have sex drives the way humans do. Uh-huh. Take a look at that, man. Everybody likes the Asari. Everybody. But we actually reproduce by... My word. She is very limber. Oh, he's getting into it. I can appreciate her dancing in an aesthetic manner, but I don't have Ooh. feelings. He's getting... He's getting seduced. She is a He's getting tempted to the dark side. Okay, that makes my legs hurt just watching it. And my knees are meant to bend that way. <laughs> this isn't as bad as I feared. It's actually... Is it warm in here? Ooh. Okay, you see that bit there? The little divot in her abdomen? It's called a, a belly, belly button. button. Humans in Asari have them, and you're going to be doing shots out oh of Oh my it. god. That can't be sanitary. Not the point, man. Jesus. I can understand why I might find Asari attractive, but how can they be attractive to humans, too? They look just like Salarians. Not really. What? They look exactly like us. I'm I, I'm not seeing the Salarian thing at all. At all. You're both wrong. Asari look just like Bluturians. Look at the head. Oh, my God. Wait. You don't think they're like 
mind controlling us to see them as attractive, do you? Please be quiet. You're going to ruin Asari for me. And there aren't many Turian women on Ilium. Well, I suppose watching just one more dance wouldn't hurt. <laughs> That's the spirit. Yeah, as getting into it. Not paying for the drinks. I still don't see why we're here. Oh, okay, well, that's that's the end of it. My family simply negotiated a reproduction. Ah, uh, getting to witness the journey. Of... Oh shit! I know that name. Oh fuck! Conrad Burner. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun. Oh shit! He learned it from me. Commander Shepard. Hey. If you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Oh, what the fuck are you doing, Conrad? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Burner. We met on the Citadel. I wanted to become a Spectre. Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face. You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson. Damn. Well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Damn it, my my plan backfired for crying out loud. Conrad, why are you acting like me? What are you crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. Out of all the people to run into I'm in this like game, at all. I never would have expected Conrad. Uh, what's with that N7 armor? How did you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off world. <laughs> Sorry in the back, she's just like, God damn it. Yeah, it sounds like she really wanted you to get the fuck out of there. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Oh, God. You get it? You were a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Oh, uh, what is your job, exactly? So, you just wander the galaxy, righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, for extra credits. Well, you know, I kind of do the same thing. I can't really judge them there. <sighs> Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Yeah, what were you doing here? Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand demon. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapon store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. Let me handle this. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Oh, out of all of the people in the world, in the galaxy, I could have ran into. Conrad Werner was probably the last person on my mind. Right, my freaking nostril is clogged up. Sorry, that's a gross image, but I gotta go deal with that. Because holy crap, my sinuses are whack. All right, cool. Now I'm feeling better. I can actually talk decently well now. My sinuses being clogged were making that kind of difficult. Yeah, I got so distracted by seeing Conrad. I totally got distracted on my comment of this all bachelor party thing. Uh, I was going to say it's kind of interesting watching the journey of a Slary and getting horny. 
Who are you? Unique name. Excuse me, I'm waiting for someone. Okay, I can't talk to you yet. Clearly you have something to do with some quest at some point. All right, who's this weapons de dealer? If this is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain the neural stimulators are compatible with both my suit and Asari physiology? Are you shorting prefabs? Why not? I did it after he was prime. Did I miss you meeting Liara? No, I went uh, that way instead of this way, so I've not met her yet. The only thing you missed me doing was wrapping up uh, Gianna Parsini's little side quest with the merchant chick over there. And getting her fined or whatever. Panar Spectre. The data is vital to the Carosa family. The son Dantius didn't give us time to pack. Lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Nasana sounds familiar. Excuse me, I'm on an important call. Nasana, I'm pretty sure that's the uh, Asari lady from the first game who... We killed her sister who was involved in, like, a slave trade who was bribing her or something to keep her mouth shut. Something like that. I don't remember the exact details, so seems like that might have a another thing. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Excuse me, Tally. By the stars, your skin looks amazing. You're not using biotics to touch things up, are you? Actually, I just tried a fixer. New exoderm moisturizer. Trust me. The goods coming in from the terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Oh, tell me more. Dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. Ah, there we go. You're sure gateway weapons and armor. Can I help you with something? Yeah. Conrad Verner spoke with you. I talked to an old friend, Conrad Verner. He told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. For Did you, you give me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to uh stop the red sand dealers. Yeah. Let's well, uh interesting. A lie is a uh, paragon action. Let's do it. I softened up the bar owner, but you need to go in and finish them off. Really? Are you sure? Absolutely. You just need to close the deal. Go in, be tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. Wow, great. Here, I'll set you up for a discount. Thanks for the help. Ooh. Nice, we get a discount too. Ooh. You know what, fuck it, I'm gonna get it. I'm not gonna be stingy. I use submachine guns a lot, and plus twenty percent damage is really nice. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a twelve-page contract for shipping, then a waiver for you. Yeah, the next time I hear the Blasto, the Hanner Specter ad, I'll listen to the full thing. Quite a lot of credits. I know that some of these, uh, like, 
dialogue things that people are talking about lead to some interesting things, but I'm not going to stop and listen it, to every single just one. Misunderstanding. Tell it to the judge. My surveillance vids caught your extortion attempt from four different angles. I was misled. I was told that you had agreed to sell. Take her away before I have my bartender throw her out. And all is right in the world. All right. See, she was lying. What happened? The undercover cop from the weapons kiosk just got arrested. It was a sting. She wasn't a cop. She was a deep cover operative from a terrorist cell. I'd never have found her if not for you. Really? Really. You did a great job, Conrad. Now please go home. Let me take it from here. Can do, Shepard. And thanks. All right, yeah. It's really good to have you back. Hopefully this will actually get him to step down now. Apparently, you know, being tough with him didn't work. It actually did the opposite of work, so... Now we should go try to find out where Liara is. Believe how lovely your scalp looks. Mine is so gangly and asymmetrical. You want to know a secret? I had it done a few years back. Galactic beauty solution. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. What do you do here? You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. Do people respect Liara? What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. All right, goodbye. I'll see you later. Of course, Commander. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. Isn't that exactly I'll make it simple? Either you pay me, or I flay you alive with my mind. Shepard, Nixeris, hold my calls. It's like exactly verbatim Shepherd. what Venezia said when we confronted her. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. Sources? You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the collectors with Cerberus. Indeed. You should come back with me. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. And you need help? What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help... I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. This seems a little shady. That would help me a great deal. Just tell me what's going on. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. Mm. I'll see what I can do. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. Ooh, we can ask about the two people that we are recruiting. Tell me about them. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. She being tracked? Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? 
Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. And tell me about Thane, the assassin. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nasana Dantius. Nasana Dantius, I'm pretty sure. Named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. You just knew that? That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Well, that's enough questions. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. How are you? How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. See what I can do. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, yeah, just, okay, I thank get you, this. Shepard. Goodbye. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Okay, so we got a few leads. I'm pretty sure that Nasana chick is from the first game who was in the Presidium, or no, the... I don't know. The Ambassador Bar or something like that. Alright, what's this? Find security terminals, hack them, and locate the nearby nearby vulnerable data. these uh, security terminals looking like I need minimal heat increase and speed Alien entertainment would like to respond to complaints about our upcoming film Blast of the Jellyfish Stings. Nope. The Hanar Association claims that our portrayal of Blasto Let's listen. Blasto. All first day purchases are thirty percent off. Ilium Entertainment thanks you for your support. Ah, well, that wasn't the same as the other ad. But Blasto is just a funny name. Any security terminals in here? for taking care of that crazy guy saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine that makes the other customers nervous yeah anyway, i can imagine this is eternity and i'm a theta oh you're a matriarch. matriarch and bartender get you anything really you're an asari matriarch i thought matriarchs served as honored advisors right which i do here at this bar i know fair enough not what you'd expect but nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Your father is a Krogan? You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars. Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen at a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. 
Yeah, okay, interesting. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. And then? What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were going to have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned oh. out to be damn easy, wow. since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. That's wild. Your mother fought in the Krogan rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. This is such an interesting conversation. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. All that a sorry wisdom got the Destiny Ascension blown to hell, and now you humans are in charge. And I warned him, told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What was coming? What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't going to cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue up my ass. So now I serve. I he like this lady. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure blood daughter. I was the father didn't work out and one day you wake up your figures gotten matriarchal and everyone else is too young to remember how the Koreans looked inside those suits hmm well thanks for telling me about that interesting conversation That's what I'm here for babe catch you anything else I'll take a drink Just oh shit no I meant to right pick drink don't eat the nuts in the red bowls they're for Turians and Koreans you'll get cramps no give me a Welcome drink Come back babe babe can I get you anything sorry no sex just clean the bar. Okay. I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. Thanks for setting up the drinks. Pleasure as always. Let's do it. Mystery drink. We're totally doing mystery drink. Well, let's see what this does. No. Oh, hold on to your livers. Man. I guess being dead for two years really turns you into an alcoholic. You can just go binge drinking everywhere as Shepard in this game. Do you have anything flashier? <sighs> I want something that says, I own this world. I own all right, let's look for some of these security consoles. Some drunk hacking. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Tarosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pass. You're who we need to talk to about Thane. Serena? Who wants to know? Name's Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. 
I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Where is he? Maybe you could help me find him? <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. Like her sister. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Tell me about Nasana. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. Yep. I knew it. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check and her enemies dead. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High tech. Ooh, Eclipse. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid. We've dealt with them before. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Where is he? So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. Do you have access? It doesn't sound like Nasana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. Hmm. Not yet. I still want to look I'll around a bit more. A bit. I'll be here, but I wouldn't wait too long. Still haven't found any of those uh, terminals I need to hack. The council thought that Blasto, the first NR oh, more Blasto. Solid waste excretions. And kindle this. Blasto the jellyfish stings available for extra net purchase this fall from Elium Entertainment. Ah, uh, good shit. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract. Oh, there was a station These I can hack. Terminus systems. Everything's dangerous. The dirty hairy reference. <laughs> Either we tax and monitor it to keep some control, or the smugglers get a monopoly. Uh, ba -ba -da. And looks like this one. Oh, wait, what? Use the distance meter. What do you mean? Oh, no. I see. Oh, what? Ah, shit! No, fuck! I didn't want to talk to you. I, I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Theros during the Geth attack. Saren had ah, yes. Oh, okay. D shit. You killed it. Everything is coming back from the first game. Holy to help shit. Zeus hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. Uh How is Zeus hope? How is Zeus hope doing? We just got to listen to their fucking beeping, I guess. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Good. Thorium. Fuck them. Uh can I offer any help? Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result well. of Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Jeez. Oh yeah, why are you green? I guess I didn't... I thought that she looked different. And I was like, maybe I just don't remember. But yeah, why are you green? Wait a minute. Shiala, you were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. Interesting. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. 
I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Uh, tell me about more about these health problems. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. Yeah. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Ew. Which they have. Is this a real threat? Can they actually force these procedures on you? No, but they can declare us in breach of contract, which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. Hmm. Let me handle it. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. All right, so I was trying to sprint, which is space, which made me uh, fucking talk to her instead. So let's try this again. There we go. Here's this. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Taking a while to pop up. There it is. All right, let's not sprint this time. It, nope. Nope. Over here. There we go. Hey, we did it. I'm going to be right back, get more coffee. And stuff like that, so yeah. All right. Let's see if I can get a uh, discount from you. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain oh, you about the are... contracts those colonists from Pharaoh sign. Yes. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you so angry? What's your problem with humans? <sighs> not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari oh, damn. dragged themselves out of we the We got like a, a mega racist here. Interesting. Uh, it's it's nice to see that, you know, games being realistic and it's like every species can be racist. Uh, why do you hate all aliens? Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? <sighs> Where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. Sounds personal. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked Ooh, for the greeter for the consort. The other was a greeter for the consort. I'm I know her. Speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Yeah, uh, tell me about them. We'll try and uh, kill her with kindness. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them loved talking with people. Exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. 
The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't. Oh. Damn. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need Well, to good on you. Wish shit like this could be worked out IRL. I know, right? Well, I mean, I kind of missed out on... Oh, shit. These are pretty cheap, too. Hell yeah. Let's buy this. Guess that means I can go to those places. Uh, you met both of her children. One daughter was a desk girl at the embassies in the first game. Yeah, I feel like I probably met her, but I didn't remember her specifically well enough as opposed to the uh, greeter for the Did consort. You get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arrhenia, though. I feel like I need to shut. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus Hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? Yeah, well, you know, you can just focus. All you gotta, all you can really do is focus on today. You've got the new contract. It's fixed for now. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Oh, that smirk <laughs> in my dead ass face is just like, nah, how about not? I uh, wish shit could be worked like out like that in IRL. So much racism and bigotry could be ended if people just talk to each other. More than just that. I mean, that's like obviously the thing the game, like the issue the game was presenting. But like just so many issues in general people have with each other. It doesn't even have to be like racist racism bigotry or anything like that just like so many so much beef that people have with each other could be resolved if they just talk talking is talking shit out is just super healthy i'm a big advocate for it and not a lot of people are willing to do it where's that last one there it is Okay, where's this one at? What about you? Going to try and make it as a All blue rose of Ilium. Let your roots Here we go. Boom. Let our scorching sun Memories of Ilium. Rain, turn your supple beauty into oh, we can get more fish. Get more models. I gotta buy all the models. Because I'm a... Model slut? I don't know. <laughs> that sounds so weird. I'm not going to buy more fish because I'm going to forget to feed them and they're just going to die. It's just, we're looking for weapons. Oh, jeez. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? I'm just spending all my money. Hey, I'm 60 years old and finally out of my parents' house. And Eclipse girls never lack for, um, company. You could get killed. What about you? I'm almost 20. My genetic stats are average and my clan has little political power. For a good reproduction contract, I'll need money. This is so interesting. Re just there, there's like no romance in Solarian culture. It's just contract for reproduction. Eclipse might be fun for you. For me, it's oh, the shit. future. My clan's breeding strategy is at stake. Don't Solarians think about anything besides breeding? I don't know. That still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's Shepard. This is Liara. I've got the data. Oh. Come see me. I thought we had to do four, but I guess there was only Sometimes you say these things three. And I don't know. Maybe it's because you Bearing the hatchet is a great fucking feeling, I agree. You're pulling that on me? My father was an excellent caretaker. You're not using biotics to touch things up, are you? Actually, I just tried Exoderm. New Exoderm moisturizing cleanser. Never All right, let's go meet Liara. 
I think Liara is going to be one of the more interesting characters to dis, uh, do a deep dive on, really explore her character in this game, because, like, Garrus, he went from being the guy who doesn't like to having to follow rules and regulations to the guy who didn't follow rules and regulation regulations. Like, where he ended up in Mass Effect 2 made a lot of sense for his character, but Liara was, like, the super soft and sweet spoken like socially awkward ooh woo let me awkwardly just try to romance you in like our first interaction character from mass effect one and now she's an infor informant for the shadow broker that's like a wild ch like switch up from where i would expected her to be so it's gonna be super interesting to explore her character and why she Shepard, is doing this it's good to see you again Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Or maybe she's not an informant for the Shadow Broker. That's what uh, the elusive man was making it seem, but she's still a shadowy informant. Is he after you? Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. Damn. With this data, I'm a step closer. What happened? I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. Uh, do you want to come with me and I'll help you? You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. All right, well, good luck with your plan. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'll talk to you later, Liara. Well, that kind of explains a little bit of it. A bit of a uh, out for revenge. She, deep down, she still has that, like, soft-spoken good girl kind of energy though that even that threat she had on that dude on the hologram earlier sounded like she was forcing herself to say it all right i'm pretty sure i did everything i could in here but let's check again let's be a little let's be thorough I have never called you that. No, but you're thinking about it. You think it was easy growing up pure blood? I did some stupid things to get I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some just a car, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. Interesting. I'm on a call. Your mom's on a call. Talk back to me. Uh, whenever you want to do the Shadow Broker content, be sure you're ready once you start your locked in for a bit. Yeah, from what I've heard, it sounds uh, quite a lot more expansive than uh, you're the sure you DLC from the first game. Blue Rose of Ilium. You have blossomed in a tower of glass and plastic. But beauty under glass is untested and weak. Rogan Poet over here. Your honor dead. To fertilize the ground that you might grow strong. On the rocky plains of Tachank. What do you want? Sorry. Sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Oh, he's... The poems are to her. <laughs> uh, do you need help? Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. He's harmless. Which, I know, Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. <laughs> um, why are you dating him? 
It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy, really smart, especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. Uh, why'd you break up? Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Mm. live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. Did you talk to him? That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been Asari. Non-Asari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. He sounds like he'd be a good dad. But, like, you can't keep leading them on like this. You gotta make a decision. And you guys gotta communicate. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Char is base, we stand Char. I, yeah, I kind of like him. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. You know, base Shepard as well, damn. I about it like that, and I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. Look at that. Helping relationships mend. What about a fish? She loves the garden. Oh, I should have done that before I bought this. Oh well. She doesn't need a fish, Dad. That logic from Chef sure. was clean Why AF. Not? Hell yeah, it was. Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use them, right? Damn, not I didn't mean. Okay, look, I'll take. All right, let's go get Thane. I think that's. Uh... Needs to be reclassified. The first one over here with Nasana, and we get to go check on Nasana again because I definitely interact with Azula's voice. Ready to go find your assassin? Let's go. I am now. Let's go. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower Two. Well, you know, if the Spectre uh, life doesn't really pan out for Shepard, he, I feel, can get a career in marriage counseling. Or uh, couples counseling, I guess, more broadly speaking. Uh, let's go Garrus and Tally again. I like, uh... As much as I want to use the new guys, I want to kind of use my, uh... Brought back OG squad. For a little bit. I do appreciate the about this... One thing I really appreciate about this game is that... Uh, your squad mates that you're not actively using will level up with you, so you're not, like, forced to, like, oh, they only level up if you actually use them, so, like, you can mix and match between, uh, you know, squad mates, and I like, I like bringing everyone along for a little bit. Towers are heavily guarded and you'll find this is very closer to the penthouse. Torasant-esque. Assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. This gives me attack on the clone vibes. There they are, the Dantius towers. With uh, you'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge. Obi-Wan and Anakin towers. chasing the assassin. will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Let's just fly up. Why don't we just save time and take the shuttle up? She's got mercs with rockets just waiting for you to try. You get maybe halfway up before they shot you down. Besides, your assassin won't go in that way. Best to go in low. Any last minute tips about the towers? The Eclipse mercs will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint Nasana. There's no automated defenses or traps, just focus on anything moving. All right, take us in. All right. 
Let's do this. Hold on. Ooh, I like the music. Don't linger too long. They'll be here to greet you soon enough. Good luck, Shepard. Yes. The doggy mechs still crack me up. That's such a funny design. Ooh, let's try that. Haha! <laughs> I haven't used that before. AI hacking, that's useful. Let's go, team. Oh, there's that. That was quick. There's this one. And there's that one. Nice. We need more credits. Oh, you're alive. He's still alive. I can't feel my legs. My chest oh. is killing me. Damn, he is fucked up. What happened? Who attacked you? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. Jesus, without warning? All right, Nasana's fucked up. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was Innocent horrible. workers. Everyone screaming. The mech said there was no time. Asana wanted us out of the way immediately. Then <coughs> the dog. <coughs> He's not going to make it if we don't help him. Here, that should ease the pain and Yeah, we're totally gonna help this guy. Thank you. That helps. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other worker. Help them. Tell me about Nasana. Why would Nasana kill her own workers? Sir, we're expendable. But I didn't realize. I didn't realize from the first game she was that ruthless either. Friends, co workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. Oh, God. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Any idea how many mercs Nasana's got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. All right, well. You should be safe here. Let's get going, team. Take this bitch out. No wonder she won't. Thank is you. got an assassin on her. I won't forget this. Um. What was I going to say? Oh. Ah, shit. Combat first. I had something on my mind, but let me do this first. Can I hop up on here? Yeah! A little high ground action. Nice. I love the combat drone. I might make Tally like a fairly permanent member of the team with that drone. That's nice. 
the distraction hassler can make all the difference in a fight oh what i was going to say was i learned an interesting bit of ah shit fuck all right let me finish this first ew My uh, abilities at right now. I need to redo these. So I got improved fortification. That's fine. I want. Alrighty. Uh, sorry about that. We are live again. I don't know what happened, but the uh, stream. And the game crashed. This is kind of going to make for an awkward YouTube transition, but I guess I will just say that thank God for autosave. We really didn't lose much progress. We are just right back at the start of the Ilium Towers or the, the whatever tower we're on. So not much progress lost thanks to autosave. Uh, and yeah, I guess I will do editing stuff when I make this into a YouTube video to cut out all that weird bullshit. Let's uh, get back to killing these fools. And then, yeah, any uh, any chatters that come in and didn't hear that explanation, I will redo it, so. Let's hope that does not happen again today. Or ever, really. That'd be nice. Dude, just keep AI hacking. That's such a fucking good ability. And I think I actually shot my AI pal. Oh yeah, what I was doing was I was going to move this stuff around. I want charge up there, and then unity could go like at five. And I think I still want... I think I want charge at two, and I'll put that at four. I'm so used to charge it being at two. Probably not the smartest idea, but when was I smart? What do you mean I can't reach the target? shields down though stopping them up from a team hell yeah I need to make sure I find some... oh shit the drone is not something I can just move through Swear all I need to like get an external hard drive and dump some of my videos that I've already uploaded on it because I think part of the problem is I've got 
Now I'm getting into the YouTube thing. I've got so many fucking gigabytes of videos edited that I just keep on my hard on my uh, freaking hard drive. Ah! Oh! Didn't see there. Like, I have a two terabyte hard drive, and for the longest time, that thing was, like, barely ever full. And now it's, like, 75% full. And I gotta clear some space. I feel like it's probably not affecting my computer as much as I would think, but I don't know. It could be doing something. Oh, you're still not dead. Now you're dead. I love their screaming in the air. It's so good. Go for the optics, Kati. Go for the optics. <laughs> nice cover there, dude. Cover behind nothing. Gadoosh. Anything out here? Oh, maybe. Well, they're fighting. Yeah, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know if you saw the D uh, Discord DMs I sent you, but uh, the game and stream decided to crash. Uh, thank God for autosave. I didn't really lose any progress, but it's fucking weird. I have no idea what happened. All right, come on, team. Take him out. He's, like, not even behind cover. Anyway, what I was saying before it crashed, I'm not exactly sure when streams crashed. But... I was gonna say, I learned an interesting detail, uh, an interesting bit of trivia from one of the YouTube comments on a playthrough I was watching. Apparently, the scene where you rescue Garrus as Archangel, the voice actor really wanted to make it sound like Garrus was exhausted, really wanted to give the impression that he has been just fighting nonstop for like a whole day just sniping bitches left and right and how exhausted he was. So the voice actor uh, stayed up for 24 hours straight to make his performance more believing. And I was like, damn, that is some fucking commitment. What a giga chad. That's not the one. That's the one. Okay, where's the last one? Come on. There you are.
So yeah, that was the, that was a cool little bit of trivia. Those are the kind of comments I appreciate people leaving. I see a lot of people leaving comments like, ah, you should do this and you should do that. And oh, if you... Or e even stuff like, oh, if you uh, did made this decision instead of this, this would happen. And I feel like even saying stuff like that, even though it's not a spoiler directly to the playthrough that exposed out here. Especially if it you're on, it's like it kind of ruins if you want to do another playthrough because then it's like that won't be a surprise anymore. I would just... I get people are excited about the game and they want to share the stuff. Oh my god! Holy fuck! I'm screwed. How did I sir? Nope, never mind. <laughs> I was not expecting Krogan. All right, let's. I totally was not listening to what Garrus said. Yeah, yeah. Maybe if I uh, read that, I wouldn't have died. Boom. Come out. Hey, what the fuck, cover? What are you doing? You Alright, let's uh crowd control you and get you the fuck out of here. Light him up. Light him up. Ow. <laughs> anyway, what I was saying was just based on YouTube, I know I don't get a lot of comments, but just based on YouTube comments I've seen in other places, I just wish that people would uh, acknowledge that, hey, maybe I shouldn't just give in every little tiny bit of information about this game, because they might want to replay it and experience the other stuff for, their, for themselves, but, you know, the passion is strong. Viper Sniper Rifle Acquired, nice. New Sniper Rifle for Garrus. And then I was uh, totally distracted by saying stuff like that, that I completely missed Garrus' dialogue about, hey, maybe we should find cover before this elevator opens. The downsides of streaming a game. I haven't heard from teams four or five. Don't worry, my team's always ready to go. I don't know where he is. You're just a standard trooper, you don't even have a name. You're just fodder, bitch. We don't need any reinforcements. I'll take care of it. If yeah, you don't. Control, I'll go down there myself. Turn around very slowly. Damn it. <laughs> Have you seen the assassin? We don't need Where any you reinforcements. Control? You're not one of Nassana's mercs. Who are you? I'll ask you again. Tell me where the assassin is. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team. Well, bye. How about goodbye? Harsh, but I guess he had it coming. Yeah. The storage disc holds a list of genetic information for the Carosa family. Ah. Okay. I was really hoping I would get a renegade action there. What do you mean? We've got reports of him on multiple levels. We think he's traveling through the ducts. I'm not paying you to think. Just find him now. Come on. She'll be throwing us to the dogs next. Interesting. What is that like a <laughs> That felt like almost like a Die Hard reference. Oh, we think he's in the ducks. He's moving across multiple levels. Attack the Fenrir, Fenris. I will never get over the screaming as they're floating through the air. That is the funniest fucking thing. Oh, 
Come on. Go get them, Jessica. Good girl. Oh. He named her drone. That's cool. Oh, good girl. I'll deploy your warp field. <laughs> oh my god. They're fucking death noises. Yeah, I'll give you a report. Do you remember me? Shit. There we go. Are you guys all right in here? Oh, hey, hostages. Get back. Get back. I'll shoot. Relax. Don't do anything you'll regret. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. I hey, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't gonna hurt uh, innocent it. civilian. Please, don't make me do it. Let me help you. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. What's your name? I'm telling. Don't, don't come any closer. I understand. No. I'm Commander Shepard. It's I don't uh. With the Mercs, and I don't want to hurt you. I'm here to help. I. All right. Here. I uh, don't feel so. I understand his distrust. He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the Merc? Hmm. No. It wasn't me. What happened here? The Merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. It was probably Thane. the Merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. A perfect headshot, with no collateral damage. Very impressive. I'm looking for someone. Probably the guy who killed this Merc. Talon thought he saw someone following us, but he's been a bit... On edge. I haven't seen anyone but the Mercs. Is the bridge the only way to the penthouse and the other tower? From here, yeah. It won't be easy. Mercs are patrolling the other side. Whatever Nasana's hiding from must be pretty scary. Yeah, that renegade interrupt was. Oh, the renegade interrupt for the uh, Solarian. How safe is that bridge out there? The bridge is stable, but the wind's your real problem. If oh. doesn't throw you off, the mercs will definitely try. There's a lot of them. We're gonna have to there. contend with wind? There are still mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Tell him. Come on, get up. Can we go home now? Yeah, we're getting out of here. I thought the, uh... Renegade interrupt for the, uh... Or the renegade action for that other merc we killed by pushing him off the... Pushing him out the window was pretty funny. Ah, shit. I fucked it up. I didn't mean to run into that. Oh, you missed me pushing the dude out the, out the window? That sucks. Was that a shot aimed at me that I accidentally dodged by deciding not to go up the stairs yet? Yeah, you seem to miss all the juicy moments. Unfortunate. Well, just gotta always bring your phone in the bathroom, I guess. Oh, 
Uh oh, there's more of them. Firing eye impact shot. Take out your cover. Ow. Bye. I think uh I think I made a or I think the reason I am enjoying Vanguard the most or just like biotics in general the most is the death noises that people make when I pull them into the air. It's so fucking funny. Okay, we already got the Viper. So three shot burst, but I kind of like uh, the one shot better. So we're gonna give him the Viper. We're gonna keep him with the Viper. Enemy! We got the explosives. He's already passed us. <laughs> They, uh, they knew I was here and didn't react until I blew them all up. Firing a high impact shot. Okay, at least we got her shields down. Cover. We get to incendiary, burn through this armor. And then crowd control you. Now what's this? Ooh, hell yeah. I'm loving this submachine gun. Oh shit, wrong one. There we go. Ready to engage. Are you though? All right, need some precision. Get your, uh, let's throw you with your sniper. Let's get your sniper going. I need you to pop some heads, Garrus. Also, thank you for the compliment on my shooting. Nice shooting yourself. Oh, the drone fe still found someone. Uh-oh, we got... What are those rocket turrets? <laughs> I love your drone. Precision shots here. Ow. Am 
Why is it jiggling up there? Well, there's one. And I don't have enough ammo to take out the other one. There we go. Whoa! What the hell am I paying you for? Nice. move, dude. I don't know why you get out of your cover. Sold. What the fuck? Oh, there's another one. All right, let's confront Nasana, this bitch. I did a favor for you last game. And this is how you uh, repay me. You're dead. Uh, I got better. I got better. And now you're here to kill me. Ah, uh, interesting idea. Honestly, I kind of don't like you anymore. You really are paranoid, aren't you? Don't patronize me, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You still think it's me? Someone else is after you. You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. I really, really hope that in the... As I'm talking to her, her head just explodes and Thane takes her out. Uh, no, we can't. All the credits in the world won't make this problem go away, Nasana. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I may not be perfect, but look at you. We both kill people for money. What's the difference? I met some of your workers. I don't kill innocents. You kill people because you think they're beneath you. They're in your way. I kill people when they leave me no choice. You've got a choice. You don't have to do this. I can tell you... What? Oh, I heard something. There's Thane. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. Oh, when there he I is. Dealing with this Ooh. Movie, so you and I are going to he looks dope. I don't think I've seen this species before. Well, he's a uh, respectful assassin, at least. Turn a respectable pose and then praise over the body. Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. Um, hello? I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize, but prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Why? Do you really think she deserves it? Ooh, I like his Not voice. For, her, for me. Ooh, I like his but voice. An individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. 
Well, here I am. Man, I love the uh, shots with the sun behind him and when Nasano was talking, same as her. I see. I do want to talk to you, but how did you know I was here? Gunfire and explosions. I prefer to work quietly. If I have to fight through guards, I've made a mistake. I rarely make mistakes. You disrupted my plan, but your distraction eventually proved valuable. I want you on my team. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's Progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. Well, that's going to change. My ship will be the first. You'd like me to protect humans I've never met from aliens no one knows anything about by going to a place no one's ever returned from? Yeah, pretty much. This was to be my last job. Oh. I'm dying. Oh. That's sad. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. Are you sick? You're dying. Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. Well, sorry to hear that. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. Okay, alright, I already like this guy. Harmony mentioned that he's uh, their favorite, so... And then you have your little pog face with Thane, so... Uh, I think he's gonna be a good character. Recruited a thing, Krios, for the team, but medically questionable unless mission is resolved quickly. Legal representatives dealing with public damage to Dantius Towers. Got the Viper sniper rifle. Got some machine gun damage. Pretty good amount of credits. A little bit of Ezo. Got that. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die is one of your favorite lines from the series. Yeah, that was uh, profound. I like that. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Yo, what's the problem, Jacob? Obviously he is, too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. I cannot wait to talk to this guy more. I'm really glad this game didn't just be like... Uh, give him a chance. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected as an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. I really like how this game is uh, a lot of interesting new characters. It's not just like, hey, go round up your crew from the old game, and it's the same status. It's the same thing. It's different. And you get to get some people back, like Tally and Garrus, but not all. I like that. Especially because people like Morden are like among my favorites already. Uh, let's do some sniper rifle damage. Even though I don't use them. And more submachine damage, because I definitely use those. The Drell culture is fascinating. Okay, so those are called Drell. Ooh, sometimes when Shepard's shields go down, they're instantly fully restored. That sounds really good. Do that.
Let's try this collector assault rifle for our assault rifle dudes. Why the fuck not? Uh, I'm going to go to my captain's quarters, though, and check out the new armor that I bought. See if that's... Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you, Kelly. I'll check that out later. This is all giving me the itch to be able to play a game again yourself close to the end of ME1 with your current character. I want to check out the... Uh, Drell. Will we get Drell and a Drell entry? The Volus are a member. No. The no. Fifth. I mean, they're definitely sapient, so. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to... As soon as there's a Drell Codex entry that pops up, I'm going to read about them, because uh, species that I have not seen before in this series is definitely something I want to check out. I love all my model ships. Look at the Sovereign one. That's so cool. Destiny Ascension. Got the old Normandy and the new Normandy. The, I didn't realize how new, how big the new Normandy is compared to the uh, old one until I bought these. Go back to this, and then we can customize this, right? Kestro torso sheath. Kestro torso sheath. And then we get bonuses for that, which I like. Also, it looks kind of dope. I didn't buy new shoulder guards, though. Ooh. Recharge rate of your powers by 5%. Shield strength by 5. Health by 5. Health by 5. Weapon damage by 5. I like the sentry interface, both for looks and then shield strength is good. I like the look of this too. Let's uh let's let's mix it up a bit. I kind of like this uh faded blue look. That's a pretty badass looking shepherd with white tints. Let's fucking do it. Yo, what's up, Max? Let's look at our messages. Appreciate the help from Elizabeth. Heard about what you did. Oh, isn't she from, uh... Yeah. Zeus Hope. Uh, heard about what you did on Ilium. Wanted to thank you for helping. Oh, just a sec. I need more water. Here, I gotta use the bathroom anyway. I'll read this when I get back. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Barely got off work, so tired. Ooh, sorry to hear that. Hope uh, you rest well now that you're off. All right, Elizabeth Bainham. Hey, Shepard, I heard about what you did on Ilium, and I wanted to thank you for helping out Zeus Hope one more time. We're surviving, if barely most of Exogeny left, but I stayed behind as an attach. Oh wait, Lisbeth is the chick who uh, we rescued from the actual like Exogeny place where the Geth were infested. That's right, she's not a Zeus Hope colonist. She's an Exogeny worker, but one of the ones that was trying to expose the bullshit they were doing. Stay behind as an attache. I don't know how to actually pronounce that, and I don't know what it means. 
And to make sure that nothing was left on the Thorian, we don't need that problem again. Also, I'm really, really sorry that I shot at you. I'm pretty sure I said that, but I just want to reiterate it. Good luck and thanks. Zeus Hope is still alive, is alive again because of what you did. Nice. Important request from Mr. Genek Edgehal Esquire. Is this a lawyer? Dear sir or madam, having consulted with my colleagues at the Citadel, I have the privilege to request for your assistance to transfer a large quantity of Prothean technology uncovered at Ilos. Ooh. Believing these materials to be hazardous, a hazardous danger, they were locked in quarantine. Even though the tests revealed that the fears were groundless, the quarantine remains in effect until one can pay for a permit to request a reclassification from the cult, uh, cultural ministry. Knowing of your interest in Prothean technology, I would be happy to deliver most of it into your hands, keeping less than half for myself. As a Vatarian, I cannot engage in council official activities, but if you transfer the 20,000 credits required to me, this exchange could be made in your name, enabling us both to profit from this happy accident. Please rep reply urgently with your credit transfer account information. This sounds like a fucking scam. No, thank you. This is like the Nigerian prince scam of this game. Alright, where's Thane? He's down here. Let's uh, talk to the team for a bit. Literally? <laughs> Glad I'm not the only one who thought that. Oh yeah, I gotta actually, like, figure out. Life support, that's where he was. Oh, we haven't been in here yet. Like your uh, co weapon collection. I don't know why I had the impression that Thane was a Turian. I don't know why, but I heard Assassin and just Turian came to mind. Maybe because Garrus as Archangel kind of filled a little bit of that role. He was almost like an Assassin. Do you need something? I want to talk about you. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Kepril Syndrome. Kepril Syndrome. Uh, can we help? Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Ah, Codex. This one. Yes, let's actually read this. I don't read too many of the Codex entries, but I gotta know about this. Where is that? Drell biology. Drell are omnivorous reptile-like human humanoids with an average lifespan of 85 galactic standard years, so they're fairly similar to humans. They give live birth to their young who are capable of eating solid food from the moment they are born. Drell appearance is very similar to Asari in humans, but their muscle tissue is slightly denser than that of humans, giving them a wiry strength. Many of their more reptilian features are concealed like a three-chambered heart with a muscular ridge that is capable of shunting oxygenated, oxygenated or deoxygenated blood as needed. One unique characteristic, however, is the hyoid bone in their throats, which allows them to inflate their throats and produce vocal sounds outside of the human range. Would-be assassins have noted that these two features make Drell extremely hard to strangle or suffocate. Interesting. Uh, because the Drell ancestors emerged from arid rocky deserts, the humid ocean-covered Hanar homeworld of Kaj proved tolerable only when the Drell stayed inside a climate-controlled dome city. Due to this huge disparity in the two species' homeworld environments, the leading cause of death among Drells on Kaij is, based, is a bacterial lung disease called Kepril Syndrome. There it is. Bacterial lung disease. Within a generation of the Drells' arrival on the planet, the disease had become resistant to Hanar antibiotics and other advanced treatments. Only an infection... Once... An infection settles in, death is slow but imminent. Transplants may buy time, but as the infection spreads to other major organs, there comes a point of diminishing returns and eventual system failure. Well, that's really sad. Let's just mark all viewed. That way, if we do get a new one that I'm interested in, I actually know where to find it. Encourage always choosing investigate options on the right won't go away, but on the left will. You might miss out on lore if you skip those, thinking of it because of the convo with Thane just then. Oh, did it say investigate? Do you need something? I honestly I missed it. I am later. I'd like to consider usually pretty uh on top of hitting investigate. Questions? Not at all. Well, there's that at least. 
The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. You know a soul name? I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Okay. They don't, do they speak? I really don't know how Hanar work that well. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. That's wild. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. That's really interesting. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emankira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, Goddess of Motherhood and Protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, Goddess of Oceans and the Afterlife. Oceans and... Oh, you're poly... I don't know what I want to... You're polytheistic? I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Tell me about these oceans and afterlife. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider, the ocean is full of life. Yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land. Accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it Interesting. Can, it will be lost. Interesting philosophy. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Yeah, well... I should go. I think that's I it. return to my meditations. This guy, uh, the, the Spiritual assassin. I like it. It's kind of weird that the uh, Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, though. Why would they migrate there if they don't find the uh, habitat tolerable and get, gives them disease? How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Back to work. We haven't talked to Miranda in a bit. Although we haven't done her loyalty quest yet. If we have time, I'd like to go to Ilium and relocate my sister's family. Yeah. I'll let you know, Miranda. Still the same of course, thing. Commander. We are on Ilium, so we should bring her along. Oh, fuck. Wrong spot again. I just remember... In the first game, the top option was here. Oh. Shit. Never mind. Tally wants to talk. When ME2 came out, it took two discs. Dude, I remember when Knights of the Old Republic came out and it took fucking four. And I'm pretty sure, like, Final Fantasy 7 and 8 did too. Shepherd, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. Oh shit. Treason. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepherd. You're crazy. Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. What are the charges? Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. Baldur's Gate 2 on PC was a Ford disker? Yeah. Wild stuff. The, the good old days. What happens when Aquarian is accused of treason? 
there's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board. Isn't your dad on the Admiralty Board? My father yeah. is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine oh. what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. This is... I never would have expected this as uh, her loyalty quest. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. Mm hmm. Exile, eh? What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. Exile is an odd choice. So no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Makes Monitored sense. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. I love how, like, the records decide a culture for like a species and then every other decision they're like all right how does this leak back to their culture so the Koreans are like a migrant fleet and they don't have a lot of resources so they have like these pilgrimages to bring something of value back to as a rite of passage for adulthood and then their punishments also revolve around the fact that they don't have a lot of resources so you can't just long-term incarcerate someone you can't execute them because they can still use the children that you bear. It's just, it's all really just smart writing. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vasilani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. Ooh. Yeah, that's treason. Intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate king. Oh, well, she destroyed that's one way to redeem yourself. Fleet. She was pardoned posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. Uh, how does the trial go? So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're family. This is just the worst kind of family ah. meeting. So this is like coming out as gay to your fundamentalist parents. <laughs> okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I just got time to help my friends out. To help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. All right, we will definitely want to do that at some point, but since I'm already on Ilium, I want to keep doing Ilium stuff. There's a lot of stuff on Ilium. Dang. Why? What, no messages for you, what, would, she, what would she be accused of treason for? It has to be something involving Cerberus, since they have so much beef. Why are we on Funnelus? Weird. Alright, we're gonna bring Miranda along this time. Now let's bring Thane. What do you use? Some machine guns and sniper rifles. Ooh, interesting. And he's part biotic. And shredder ammo sounds fucking cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Cycle your appearance. Oh, yeah. Give you some badass, like, the Morpheus shades. <laughs> oh, yeah. Real assassin. Marksman increases weapon damage or increases health.
tears through soft targets, unshielded organic enemies. That seems pretty useful, but... Ooh, I like the idea of heavy throw. Yeah, let's uh, get Drell Assassin up. I always like going for this. Just bait increase to all your stats is just too good to pass up. And then let's... Uh, weapon damage plus 50% is huge. Let's go with that. And I can't get that yet. Oh, wait, I can. I didn't realize... Yeah, never mind. Accept. And then... Uh, let's get two in a warp. Uh, we haven't used in a while. Reverse leader. Squad leadership abilities giving an increased combat bonus to squad weapon damage. Ooh. I like that. Squad health, 7.5 squad weapon. Yeah, let's do that. Then overload. Do heavy overload. I like the idea of just like making it super strong for one. Now I can evolve pull, which is nice. I really like the idea of pull field. All right. I like the Tempest. Let's do that. Let's keep her with the Carnifex. Carnifex has some advantages. Let me do the Viper for you as well. I'm assuming the whole sister thing can't really happen if Miranda's not in our party here, because I never saw any mention of like her sister while I was here. But I didn't have her with me. You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Yeah. Humanity can learn a lot from their engine. No, you don't understand. I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. Uh oh. It can't be replaced. It's a token from my bond mate. It's the only thing my child has to remember her father by. Please, if you find it. No, I, I, I understand. All right, near the Pardon me, I'm transport uncalled. depot, she said. We'll see if we can find that. That seems like something we might be able to find. Uh oh, this to talk to Thane now. I spent the last two years here. I had a purpose, a goal. Now that I've accomplished it, something occurs to me. In all that time, I never looked at the horizon. It is spectacular. Ooh, still can't afford that. I can't afford these, though. I never got the shoulder pieces, so let's do it. If this is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain the neural simulators are compatible with both my suit and Asari physiology? Maybe someone at the bar knows where her sister's at. something out stop worrying slave broker it's okay i'll think of something you said synthetic insights would buy me you said it was an easy sale i assume they would want an ai tech hello can i help you with something what's going on here have you made this quarry in your slave we prefer the term indentured servants before you do anything hasty know that this quarry and sign the agreement voluntarily and her servitude contract is completely legal on ilium if you actually want to help the quarry and convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Uh... Yeah, I don't like this whole legal slavery thing, but I'm not going to go causing trouble. So slavery is legal on Ilium? 
indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met, Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. Why did this Quarian sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then Oof. I got an illegal loan. You get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. All right, well, let's try to help her out. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. If you're hurting for things to do, maybe, yeah. Can I help you with something? Would you like a Quarian? Let's put on our salesman face. How would you like to get your hands on an expert Quarian AI programmer? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait, is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. Man, that's honestly kind of understandable, but this would be good business. It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this quarry would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly You're helping her get out of slavery. Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the quarian and garnish wages for reimbursement. Or do that. Interesting. We look good for hiring a quarian, and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. It's all about business. This quarian had better be good, though. When you replay through the series, consider bringing Tally for this and for the Quarian bullied by the Volus on the Citadel. Yeah, I'd imagine she would have really good commentary. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the Mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Oriana's family to the terminal instead. Hmm. Man, her father just a, seems like a scumbag. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. How about these uh, Eclipse mercs? What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. All right, what should we do? It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lentea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. Will Nicket be safe? I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. Do you want to give Nicket any backup? Nicket. Nicket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. I pronounce it like the Pokemon Nicket. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Let's do this. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse. But they never planned on you. Seems like Eclipse are everywhere on here. It's because Eclipse is primarily made up of Asari, and this is an Asari world. Makes sense. I remember Eclipse being... The only thing I really remember of Eclipse is the Salarian leader on Omega, but he's just the leader of that specific branch. It doesn't mean that he's the leader of all of them. It's fucking green thing again. The new dude... Damn it! Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Kind of like how, you know, the Blood Pack is mostly Krogan, so they were pretty dominant uh, as enemies on Tachanka. Makes sense.
I like their color scheme. Cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. And then blue suns are mostly Turians. But I've seen them fucking everywhere. Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! Oh shit. Crash landed that bitch. I got this. Hopefully we got good uh airbags. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Damn. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. What do you mean? What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? You don't want to talk to the captain. She's not as polite as I am. She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. Ooh, I love it. Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. Mm. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birth date. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. Well, her father's still a scumbag, so I'm with Miranda. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say oh, come on, word, give me a give me a renegade action. Squad. So I suggest you walk <laughs> you see it? nicely. Unless you... Oh yeah. That dude is shook. Fuck these bastards. over there Ooh, I got a human to veteran Did he say spread your matter to the sea? a badass quote after you kill someone all right i think that was one of the most badass uh things i've ever done as shepherd not gonna lie let's just make sure i didn't miss any loot There you go, Pathos. A renegade option you didn't miss. Or a renegade action, uh, I should say. Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us yeah, see if damn. I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father mm, yeah. grew her when I was a teenager. That camera she was angle. Meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. 
You never gave her age. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But, well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. All right, well, we need to get her. If Eclipse knows where Oriana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. Um, so let's talk about the area layout. Can you tell me anything about the cargo processing yard? We'll be moving through conveyor systems. There'll be a lot of movement. Finding targets won't be easy. We'll need to stay sharp. And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. So watch what you shoot at. Uh, why do you have so much trust in Niket? I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Does your father know him? Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. All right, let's go. Let's go find Niket and Orion. Right. Another fun fact, Miranda's face is based on her voice actress, Yvonne Grahovsky. Uh, interesting. They're on the far side of the conveyor line. Time your shots. Well, I can blow that up. We've been spotted. You can shoot that, though. Oh, help. Fuck. I'm getting stuck on the stairs. I'm dead. Every time I buy out of charge, I only ever die when I get stuck on geography. Or geography, I mean geometry. Because, like, the stairs were there, I couldn't get through them, so Shepard was just fucking stuck. Unfortunate. We're compromised. Cool. Thane's using a sniper. That's what I want. Oh shit. God damn. I gotta remember to use this more often. Hostile combat drone. So much derogatory language. Ooh, I'll take it. new SMG damage. Let's go. We're getting a lot of those. I, I don't know how I missed that. I'll cover you with bullet holes. Come on. Once again, I fucking just get stuck behind bullshit and actually take cover. Uh, glitch through the floor. I'll still kill you, though. Damn it, I'm not letting her get Oriana. What's back here? Oh, more enemies. That's what. Yeah. 
God, I love this SMG. It's so good. All right, I feel like I missed some stuff over here. There was like way more directions I could have gone. Yeah, Eclipse Merc scan. This might be useful. Nice. A lot of explosive barrels I gotta remember to shoot. There's that. There's that one. There's that one. Nice. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Nice job, Thane. They've seen it. I just fell down into the abyss. I'll take it. All right, I'm gonna destroy that so that I can actually take cover there. Lots of engineers. <laughs> I love how dramatic that was. Find Ezo, nice. Tech cooldowns. And the dead Merc, or hack the PDA, rather. Oh, that's the wrong one, that's it. Ah, oh, shit. I really fucked up this one. Man, I picked this class for the shotguns, but I'm staying now for the SMG. Eclipse operatives have attempted to delay you by disabling the elevators. I am overriding their lockdown. Thank you, ED. Like maybe you can't trust him as much as you thought. And we even brought that up. 
Hey, welcome back, Max. Maybe the captain knows we're listening in and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Maybe. Or maybe it means Or maybe you're else. coping. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't this thing go any faster? You sure about Niket? What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? Well, we'll know when we get there. We won't know anything until we find Niket. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Listen to me. I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Miri. This should be fun. Oh, just guns out already. I'm ready. Oh, yeah, you run. Better run. Oh, God. Well, shit. You sold me out. That happens now. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully. No trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. Uh... Why is Inyala involved? I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty. But kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her. I'm rescuing her. Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? Damn! Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Miri. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? Yeah, I mean, I can kind of understand, like, the whole... Kidnapping a baby thing ain't great, but, like, I'm definitely more on Miranda's side with this. And let's try to solve this peacefully. If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. I'm going to miss you. Nah, fuck him. I'll let her do it. Figuratively speaking. I was tired of talking anyway. So was I. God damn. I'll let Miranda have her badass moment. God, Jesus. I'm not getting a good look on her or good sight line. We need to take out this fucking dude with the shields and armor. There we go. Yeet! I 
could do this all day. Alright, let's uh Can't reach the target. pick out the last two before Inyala is the last one. And then go ham on her. Goodbye. There could be more Eclipse Mercs near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. I think that's such a naive point of view. Like, oh, yeah, because someone will totally want to be ripped away from the family they've known for 19 fucking years just so they can have more money. Like, what? And, like, from what I gather she doesn't even have a bad life here on that uh that Nickette dude was kind of an idiot not gonna lie Lockett has a picture of an Asari and a human man it doesn't look expensive but it likely holds sentimental value oh that's probably the uh yeah that's the okay that ties back into the optional thing I wasn't expecting that I can't believe Nickette sold me out I didn't even see it coming yeah, you couldn't have. Even with all your upgrades, you're human, just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal, and I screwed up. Why did he make me kill him? He could have run. He could have lied about having the data stored somewhere. But he just stood there, the only loose end. He knew what I'd have to do. I think he felt guilty. Maybe some part of him regretted what he did, and he wanted to atone somehow. You atone by fixing your mistakes, not by committing suicide. Camera angle, though. Well, don't blame yourself. You did what you had to do, Miranda. You're not responsible for his death. Of course I am. But it's not my fault. It's not even Niket's, really. My father takes the blame for all of this. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when <laughs> I ran. You cameraman. Except Niket. Weakness on my part. Well, you did keep your sister. But is it, well, yeah, is he the last loose end? Any other old friends your father might use against you? No. I cut ties with everyone else. Anyone I'm close to now works for Cerberus. Or you. My father's powerful, but he won't cross the elusive man. <laughs> well, you did keep your sister. You still have Orion. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. Yay. There she is. She's Can you go say hi? Or are you just trying to, like, with her family. be a shadow? Come on, we should go. You will go talk to her? Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want. It's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. Come on, you should go speak with her. She doesn't need any details. But would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. Go on. We'll make sure to stand behind you. I <laughs> stand firmly behind Miranda. Oh, we didn't actually get to see the conversation. Oh, that's sad. That's sweet and sad. I didn't think we were going to get much uh, emotion out of Miranda. Already uh, way better character than Ashley. Like, if we're, like, judging them on the fact that they're the human female companions you get in this game. Seriously, though, she's way more interesting and nuanced. Hey, you took the words right out of my mouth. 
easy to meme on Miranda's looks, but she's got good character. Yeah, and then the uh, explanation behind it is, like, she was genetically modified to, like, just be perfect and everything, so that even isn't even, like, a knock on her character. But anyway, I want to keep streaming, but if I keep this all in one thing, it's going to be too long to make a single YouTube video. And if I do stuff like that, I think it makes it awkward for the video to just have a random break. So... I'm going to take the time here to make a YouTube outro. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. We got a lot of progress on Ilium made, and next stream, next video, we're going to make even more progress. I shouldn't have said next stream because it's really next video because I'm going to keep streaming. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to keep doing stuff on Ilium because we still have more stuff to do. Uh, also, Max, I'm, I'm still streaming. You totally missed everything. Like, I'm not going off streaming. I'm just making a break for the YouTube video. Uh, but yeah, we are going to continue on with Ilium because there's still a lot more to do. Ilium has just so much. And so yeah, hope to see you in the next video.